My name is Sarah Lloyd, and today is Sunday, March 28, 2021. Today is a very special day because it is Palm Sunday of our Lord's Passion, the day we remember and celebrate Jesus' joyful entry into the city of Jerusalem. The Mass on Palm Sunday includes several very significant readings, but in this video, I would like to share my reflection on the reading from Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 through 7. For some context, Isaiah chapter 50 as a whole is written responding to God's people at a time when they felt as if they had been abandoned by God. But the specific verses in today's reading, 4 through 7, are filled with depth and practical guidance as to how God wants his people to live their lives, whether we are struggling through a global pandemic or whether we are simply trying to manage our daily tasks. Three important and practical messages stood out to me. First, God wants us to be conscious of the power in our uniquely human gifts so that we can use those gifts wisely and according to his will, because we have a great impact on the lives of those around us. In verse four, we are reminded that we have been given a powerful gift in the ability to communicate, but that we were given that gift for a purpose so that we could encourage and respond to those among us who are struggling, disheartened, or weary. We are also reminded of the profound impact we have on the lives of others through our words. In my own life, intentionally or unintentionally, I know that there have been times when my words have hurt others. And I'm sure many of you watching this reflection have had the same experience. We are being called to use our gift as God intended, to be a force of positivity in the lives of those around us. Second, God has made himself known to us. He has offered us the opportunity to enter into a beautiful and meaningful relationship of faith. But an opportunity is just that, an opportunity. It is up to us to make the choice to see God as he revealed himself to us. Faith can be difficult at times, but we can only see God acting and working in our lives if we open our hearts and pay attention. I sometimes get so wrapped up in my daily tasks and my job that I don't always see God's intervention in my life as it is occurring. But then at some point I pause and I pay attention and I see God's action in my life. I consciously allow myself to feel God's presence when I pray. I believe this is the openness that God is calling us to choose. Finally, God helps us understand how he wants us to respond to our own pain and suffering. Suffering is a part of being human. We can't avoid it. Whether it's physical or emotional, we have to make a conscious choice how we're going to respond to it. We can make a choice to hold on to the pain and suffering, and we can allow it to consume us. For example, if a coworker disrespects us or embarrasses us at work, we might focus our energies on trying to get revenge. And then when we get home to our families, absorbed in our own suffering, we might unintentionally respond to the people we care about in bitterness causing more suffering. Or we can make the conscious decision to turn the other cheek, to let go of our suffering instead of allowing it to consume us. This is how we can stay focused on living the life God wants for us, since we can't do it if we're absorbed in a state of bitterness. In my own experience, this can be hard to do. Certain wrongs or injustices are just harder to move past than others. But for me, it helps to remember that the longer I allow myself to be consumed by it and the more bitter I allow myself to become, the further I stray from the path that God intended for me. I believe God is calling us to let go of the wrongs that are done to us. If we can communicate with one another the way God intended, open ourselves to God's love and manage our responses to suffering, I believe we will be closer to living the life that God intends for us. 